Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to this talk. My name is Hai Hong Zhao. I am from the Data Science and Analysis Trust at Hong Kong University of Science and Technology, Guangzhou, under the supervision of Professor Jia Li. During my master's studies at uh, Jilin University, my supervisor was Professor Bo Yang. I'm honored today to present our work, Weekly Supervised Anomaly Detection by Knowledge Data Alignment. The presentation includes seven parts, background motivation, traditional WSAD vs KD align, challenge methodology, experimental results, and the conclusion. Anomaly detection AD, aiming at identifying patterns or instances that deviate significantly from the expected behavior or normal patterns, is crucial to extensive web-based applications, including anti-money uh, laundering, malware detection, device failure detection, and network fault analysis. Um, currently, various approaches have been introduced to address AD, which can be broadly classified into two categories, unsupervised learning and the weekly supervised learning. Uh, given that labeled anomaly data is typically scarce or costly to acquire, uh, unsupervised learning approaches mostly rely on manually defined assumptions and operate on entirely unlabeled data to identify anomaly scenarios from given data. For instance, we can easily identify the special individuals um, seen as outliers from this figure by the hidden information without any label. However, due to the dependency on assumptions or lack of supervision information, um, Unsupervised learning approaches often deviate significantly from the actual results in practical applications. Thus, weekly supervised learning approaches have been proposed, expecting to leverage limit label data to learn real anomaly distributions. Actually, WSAD is about stretching limit label data over a large amount of unlabeled data. After reviewing existing solutions, we note that existing WSAD approaches are still unsatisfactory due to the scarcity of labeled uh, li limit uh, of labeled data, which makes them struggle to generalize to novel anomalies or anomalies not observed during training time. So, how to propose an effective and novel weekly supervised anomaly detection approach? Um, in this work, we propose to incorporate raw knowledge, which often, which is often derived or summarized by human aspects, similar to label annotation, but has been largely overlooked to help complement the limit label data. This schematic figure um, can clearly illustrate the, the key difference between traditional WSAD approaches and our proposed KD line approach. Note that while traditional WSAD approach mainly concentrates on the limit label data, our proposed KD align can supplement the limit label data through knowledge data alignment um, by, the, uh, by incorporating additional knowledge. Also, rules are high quality and accessible in practice. Incorporating them is not trivial for three reasons. The first reason is the knowledge representation. Rules are generally represented by if-else role statements. In the representation space, rules and data lack a direct correlation, making them unsuitable for directly training WSAD models. The second reason is the knowledge data alignment. Intuitively, if two rows are close, then their corresponding data samples should also be close. For instance, in anti-money laundering, a group of fraudsters may possess similar patterns, thus have similar data representations. Usually, these fraudsters can be detected by identical or similar um, if-else rows in anti-money laundering instance. In this work, and we reformulate the knowledge incorporation process as the knowledge data alignment and supplement the traditional data only optimizations. The third reason is the noisy knowledge. Typically, not, uh, roles are not always accurate. Thus, directly aligning them with data may involve noise. 
and resulting in a performance drop. So it is still challenging to ensure the model's performance under the noisy rules. To tackle the above challenges, we propose a novel weekly supervised anomaly detection approach named KD Align. During the training phase, for the first challenge, we utilize the encoder 5x and the 5f to map the data x and the row f to two separate embedding spaces. Then for the second and the third challenges, we leverage the optimal transport technique to compute the cost matrix between data and the knowledge, thereby obtaining the optimal transport plan S. Then we compute the optimal transport distance between the data and the knowledge um, distributions and add it as a loss term to the prediction loss term form forming a joint loss. Finally, we utilize the joint loss to train 5x and 5o, which aligns the knowledge and the data for incorporating knowledge. Mm, during the inference phase, the test data xt yields result directly by 5x and 5o. In the data space, both abnormal and normal data points can be aligned yot. Next, we would like to delve into this framework and introduce some more details. The first details is the knowledge representation. To enable knowledge and the data to be operated, we consider representing the knowledge in a high dimensional embedding space. But embedding knowledge successfully entails rendering it into a format and able for processing by deep learning methods. Draw inspiration from the embedding of logical formula. We first give a series of definitions for AD to transform related if L rows. Look at the instance. A row, if attribute one is greater than five and attribute two is equal to zero, then the anomaly state is true. From this rule, we can easily extract three propositions, P1, P2, and P3. Then leverage the logical connectives to combine them as a unique propositional formula. Note that each proposition has its own subject, predicate, and object. Then based on the previous instance, we show you the definitions as follows. In the propositional formula that represents the if-else row statements, the subject comprises the attribute names present in the sample and the word anomaly. The object consists of the attribute threshold within the AD rows and, and anomaly state true and false. And the predicate encompasses the numerical relational symbols such as greater than and equal to, and also the linking verb is. Note that each row may contain multiple propositions and logically connecting them with the logical connectives such as negation, conjunction, disconjunction, implication can ultimately form the corresponding propositional formula. After obtaining the propositional formula, we leverage a DDNF compiler to encode them into the DDNF logical graphs which can be represented by graph neural networks for finally generating the knowledge space. That's the concrete way from if-else rows to the knowledge embeddings. Um, for the second details, <coughs> is the noisy knowledge elevation. KD Align can smooth the noisy rule representations by encouraging the consistencies among the closed rule representations in which the closeness is determined by the optimal transport between row data alignment. As long as the majority of the rows are correct, KD Align will drag the representations of noisy rows to the closest representations of correct rows, which alleviates the effect of noisy rows. Concretely, we, all, we conduct extensive experiments on five public datasets 
And the experimental results show that our proposed KDA line achieves the best result compared with other representative baselines. Finally, we would like to give a summary of our contributions. First, to the best of our knowledge, this is the first work to incorporate raw knowledge into WSAD, effectively complementing the limit label data. Second, we propose a novel knowledge data alignment weekly supervised anomaly detection framework named KDA line. Third, comprehensive experimental results demonstrate that KDA line framework markedly surpasses its state-of-the-art counterparts, achieving superior performance across various anomaly types. Additionally, uh, for the future, we would like to extend our work in the following directions. First, extend to graph domain. Second, introduce other optimal transport fences. Third, improve the explainability of our proposed KDA line. Fourth, may consider leveraging large-scale language models as additional knowledge. Mm, that's all. I hope you find this talk informative and interesting. Thank you for watching.